Kick this baby up. We'll kick this baby up yeah. right now. Here we are at RealLibertyMedia.com, RLMRadio.xyz. We've got a perfect world happening right here. Well, we're contrasting the occupation of this perfect world. And I am far away broadcasting from far away space with v- Vinny VPN Uranus and Flash Somebody way over across the ways in Denmark. Denmark. He's making his mark on the world. Mark on the world. Wow. Yeah. Denmark. <laughs> Denmark. Denmark was here long before I found it. Well, what are you going to do? You can't take it with you. Just trying to leave it the way it was when I got here. That's good for you. I like to uh, leave a mark. Carve big X's on trees. Wrap them with tape, ribbons and paint. Okay, you do that. You going to well, say where we are and what we're doing here? We are. We are right here at RealLibertyMedia.com. Broadcasting you all across the uh, mighty airwaves from uh, VPNs and uh, other things. That, uh, uh, what are those things called? No. Places. Places? Places. What yeah. things called? Where we're broadcasting all over oh, the place. Oh, sites and stuff. Yeah. All yeah. kinds of places. places. Yeah. Places. places. Yeah, if you know, you know. And if you don't know, who are we telling? <laughs> Right. I don't but get that part. Yeah. Lots and bodies, as you like to say, right Thank at you. the top of your yeah. man and the great Grimner and Mighty Moose Girl with Kate and DC back bracket. <laughs> oh, it's going to leave such a pain in the neck. Santa Asmo. Yeah. Free enslaved. Are we free enslaved? Grams. I be Doncy. There's the Java Doctor, too. And Judge Dredd. Yes, he is the mighty man that brings all the excitement over here to the uh, Cheddar Channel. There's a, some ponder gander going on with Rain and Rome's and Vanna White. And this fellow here is stuck in here is Vinny VPN Uranus. We're not sure where he is. Dork <laughs> <laughs> and Woodman. And, <laughs> and well, then, Beetle! And the most beautiful person in the whole wide world, perhaps. Circle. Hello. Oh, Hello, honey. Cyber uh, Noodle. And that's Flash somebody. He's got flashes and lashes and all kinds of uh, flashes. Places. <laughs> well, Spaces grumpy. and places, too. Yeah. A Gooberzilla, uh, known by other names Uh-oh. like Hawk and uh, Gromit. Huh? Huh? Is I that a question? Know. What? Is that, I don't know. This guy I work for. He'd be saying something, and I'd say, "Huh?" Mm-hmm. He'd tell me again, and I, "Huh?" Mm-hmm. And he'd tell me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> JJ's nine. <clears throat> Carl Marx kiss. Why kiss me? Hey. Leave off the pond sauce. Wow. And, uh, it in Van Meter. A very nice uh, Didi Donna. Uh, and there is Wanna Fight. <laughs> I saw that one. I Wanna Fight. Okay, very good. So, there we are. That's uh, that's who we got. And uh, there'll be people downstream uh, clicking like and listen to that sort of thing over to the channel. And F YouTube. I mean, F you YouTube. Yeah. There's Ghost of Minds. Um, heart, uh, I think it's on iHeart still. No longer SoundCloud. I like SoundCloud, by the way. It's a good place to park a podcast. I guess you got to delete after so many unless you pay for more. So what are you doing, Flash? What? what uh, well, this, uh, today. That, uh, I'm, ta- I'm taking the day off from doing anything, but I thought, thought I'd still do the radio. Happy anniversary. Yeah, thank you. Me and Sarah hit the state's five-year um, five mark today. Yeah, we're going to wow. get a free toaster and, you know, some cookies. Nice. <laughs> I hope you get But yesterday, I was trying to in- impress Cirque with my, you know, Americanness by showing her a movie. I'm going to post the movie on the RLM main feed, the chat, so they can see this epic saga. I was trying to share it with my... Danish wife. I'm going to watch it. And, and she thought I was making it up, that it wasn't really. <laughs> but, yep, it's a film. <laughs> Hello, Donna. Because 
you know, we have heritage and history. <laughs> America. She shakes her head, and, you know, but hey, we were here a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> you tired in Wyoming? I, I'm not sure. I it was in the desert. or supposed to have been in the desert, so <laughs> you figure it out. Got, the out in the desert. They got hey. desert in Utah, and they got desert in California, so it could be anywhere. There's deserts everywhere. <laughs> There's deserts probably. in Africa, too. Yeah. But can you imagine making a film like... Cowboys and Idiots. When I saw the title, I thought it was a joke. When I saw the movie, I realized, yeah, it was a joke. It wasn't a great joke, but it was a joke. They tried. Little minds. Parody. Was, the, but the dialogue to the film was hysterical. It started out with a pretty good song. We was listening to it while we was downtime radio. Was here. that what that was from? That yeah. music. Oh. oh no! Yeah, it sounds like something they put in that film. Anyway, because in a perfect world, the cowboys don't always massacre the Indians and steal all their shit. You know, I was uh, I was watching one one of my favorite all time movies is uh, is Lonesome Dove, and uh, the true story is on uh, um, the Good Night Loving Trail. Yeah. Uh, those based on the characters. Uh, Augustus McRae and uh, Captain Call, uh, a real life people, and uh, one one of those army guys. He came off down in the Paladura Canyon, where uh, Quanta Parker and uh, his uh, Comanches. He be, he was uh, the the son of uh, a captive uh, white white gal that she was taking. This young gal grew up uh, Indian and had children, and so they ended up cap- catching her. Uh, matter of fact, good uh, Charles Goodnight was part of that um anyways i wrote in there to kill all these indians down there in the paladura valley uh, canyon and they ran up on the hill and uh, let the women and children get away and then the why the, the braves were shooting back down on them at uh, the that uh calvary commander he realized his mistake but then he uh he captured like 1400 horses and and shot a thousand of them uh, he burned their camp and supplies and winter goods and so Quanta Parker had to uh, finally uh, give up and go back to the to Fort Sill to the to the reservation. Later, the Indians were, um, you know, I could only imagine what kind of life that would have been for them. So they they end up they go back to uh, Paladura Canyon. By that time, uh, Charles Goodnight and his then wife, who had been a, a lifelong sweetheart, uh, they had moved in there and set up ranching, and they had to run all the buffalo out for the cows to have something to eat. So here comes Quanta Parker and, and his, uh, um, the rest of his nation and, uh, tribe, uh, and find all the buffalo gone. Well, uh, strike up a deal with Good Night and he gives them so many steers every so often to, for, to slaughter and eat. And they finally get tired of that and they go back into the reservation. But, uh, in the meantime, uh, Quanta Parker and Charles Good Night became lifelong friends. Uh, he ended up signing over to, uh, Good Night, uh, the uh, to be able to run cattle on uh, the Comanche land there. Uh, quite a history. I my son was born in Weatherford, Texas, and that's uh, you know where the kind of base out of there. Uh, he, they Charles Goodnight in uh, Loving, who would have been McCast- uh, Augustus McRae's character, uh, just like the movie, except for it's his arm, and he ends up dying. And uh, uh, good, uh, yeah, Charles Goodnight takes. Uh, uh, loving back to uh, Weatherford, Texas, and he's buried there. And uh, I lived there in Parker County. That uh, that trail was um, right through there where I was at, and you know all the signs up and way up in the back roads. There's places you see where uh, some kids were captured by the by the I think it was Kiowa. In that case, uh, kind of an incursion there and uh, chased them down. I think they got them kids back. I can't remember. It's been so long ago. A lot of history. A lot of history in that. We get uh, the postmodernism of today uh, coming out of uh, uh, the author of Lonesome Dove and kind of captures and paraphrases or para- uh, plagiarizes uh, history and makes it his own story, which is fascinating and interesting because um, that's kind of what I try to do, pull them all together. Uh, we need them connecting points, though, a little more fine-tuned. Interesting history and time. 
you know, past and the conquest of uh, the West. If I didn't lose you. Did you go away or did I? <laughs> I hear nothing. Oh, there you're back. I thought we might have got disconnected. You just wandered off. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Because you were you was in deep rant and Hannah wanted to go bark at some birds, so I had you on yeah had you on the mute so that they wouldn't hear her going all crazy. Because this is in a perfect world, Vinny, where everything is fucking perfect. You got it, huh? 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 Said perfect. (laughs) So occupying that's uh, that's what we do. Really, we occupy the place that we're in, and sometimes we go on conquest and uh take over other place people's places uh, and spaces and that's why i had to go vpn in um uh, <laughs> uranus <laughs> boy you're just stuck on that joe biden shit aren't you don't get creepy with me man why he, he's the future of america what are you talking about See, Tr- it Trump, just gets more and more ridiculous. You yeah, know. you'll see. Tr- Trump is going to have a horrible spaghetti incident accident slash suicide. And when that happens, well, Joe Biden will be the only one available that knows what to do. <laughs> so they'll he'll they'll they'll follow him to the a better future. <laughs> we just shared uh, no Biden. Biden, where was that? I'm going to see if I find that. No, probably not. Um, this is a big mess. I mean, if they take Trump out, then you got Pence. Pence is a Jesuit. <laughs> oh, you got surprises waiting for you. <laughs> They'll probably do it in the second term. And then, you know, Trump will have some kind of horrible accident, and, you know, he'll strangle himself with a plate of spaghetti or something. You know, slip on his shower and break his hair. You don't seem, that one, you don't seem impressed with my um, version no, of the be, future. And then, see, then Pence the Jesuit takes over, whether you like it or not. Kind of like in the Richard time. Nixon days. Doesn't he have a, a time machine? <laughs> time machine. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's that. So too. Kelly and the reporter, she says, uh, you let Biden get away. With his first lie. Hmm. Yeah, she vapor. Well, That's from everything Rick. he says is pretty much a lie, so it doesn't really matter. He, Biden's just one of those lucky politicians that everybody knows up front. Now he's full of shit. There's no wondering about Joe Biden. So Sitting, no Joe. standing, or lying down. Yeah, <laughs> don't matter. He's fucking you. Just count on that. He's just got a goofy way of showing off. And he talks like a complete moron. You ever hear him speak? Have you ever seen a Joe Biden quote? It looks like some of the shit that Karl Marx writes. (laughs) Would would it creep you out if he came behind you? No. Oh, geez. Just thinking about that creeped me out, you creep. (laughs) Stop being creepy. No, it would. It wouldn't. It just... Um, there's something about that demeanor, though. It does kind of rock one's comfortability. But think about it. What if what if he was the only choice for president? Then what would you do? Well, you got to vote on the lesser of the two evils, don't you know? Well, yeah, but I think Trump's going to have a suicide spaghetti incident. You'll see. In a do second you see term, yeah. On the cold hard ground ahead, sir. Do I see what? On who? Trouble. Do you see? Do you see trouble on trouble. the cold heart? Yes, trouble. I, yes, I cold do. Heart. Yeah, I do. Because even Trump couldn't sell zombie brains, but Pence can. Pence is a religious guy. He's gonna. He's got lots of followers out there. He's weird looking. Well, you say that every time like that matters. So look at Nixon. Talk about weird looking. Good yeah. God. Nixon was like a poster child for a birth control, you know. Hope you don't have one of these. <laughs> anyway. 
Well, that you shut gonna, you right up. What are you going to do? I ain't doing anything. I don't even live in America no more. Lucky, lucky me. I don't think I'm a. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to re up my subscription with America. I think I'm going to cancel America and become something else. <clears throat> I'm happy here in America. I haven't decided yet like, what I want to be when I grow up, but I'm thinking on. No. What I used to want to do was to uh, live down in Mexico. I think that would be a great place to live. But things are changing. You know, world's changing and. Um, Wait a minute, really how is. the fuck are you, what's changing? The 5G's coming faster than you pr- you predicted? Everything. As, yeah, everything. So it's in the whole new world. It's brave, brave world. Brave. It's a sick, it's a sick fuck hole. It's a, where people just get all sick and act stupid together. That's what the world is. Bunch of I, morons following idiots. I think I was supposed to have more of a sarcastic uh, tone. Well, I'm sorry, but if you follow, uh, if you support the shit that's going on in the world on a global level right now, then you too, sir, would be on the out-of-your-mind scale, in my opinion. My opinion would look down its opinion at your opinion. (laughs) What do you you think think of that? (laughs) In in a perfect world, that's... interest for you involved here? What, what, what? think the government's here to help you, mister? No. I think that the government is a bad freaking experiment that went horribly wrong many years ago, and people, instead of admitting that and doing something different, they're just going to beat the dead horse they know. At least they know it's there. And it's all in your head any damn way. I don't think you're right. Well, how many... Federales, do you see hanging around your house a lot? Oh, I was just looking at this five years later and look back at the Bundy Sniper and uh. American Patri- uh, Patriot Militia. So I ain't figured out this guy here, John Temple, in 100 days in Appalachia uh, from April the 12th, 2019, whether he's a he's a poot or a patty. A poot, of course, a Bundy supporter. They, they gave that name uh, up there in, in Oregon. Ah, yeah. We're digging up. Secret code for all the insiders so they know what's going on. Uh, we got a poop you know, command. Whoa, Trump is not getting support from and well then on the reallibertymedia.com chat. I'm telling Hansel, I'm telling Hansel. <laughs> Hansel's not going to like that. Ooh. I think he won't mind so much. What, that Trump's a Jewish supremacist? Hey, we've got Paul Kirshner to make sure that everything goes as planned. Nah, but after many, many minutes of deep thought and consideration, I decided the Jews aren't even really Jews. They're just pretending to be Jews so they can get away with the shit that they do. That's all. And it's easier to do than you think. You just tell the right story to the right place, and people believe it, and they repeat it for 80 or 90 years. Then it's true. Doesn't matter what it is. There's an automated story from Real Liberty Media on Twitter. It's a bear clan. It's a model of indigenous activism that sweeps across Canada. Huh. Yeah. Look, they're walking the streets looking for ways to help. Thanks, Real Liberty Media. That's a barman underscore art. I don't know. I live in a place that's pretty friendly, so people don't need anything here. Not nothing. What if? Uh, no, we even have a, a. There, there's a group of guys, older guys, my age and, and beyond, that drink at the train station out where the kiosk is at. Right guys, out there at the train, you know, they gather in a group. Mad Dog Twenty Twenty around. No, they buy their own cans. They just drink some beers, sit there, and you know, run the planet. <laughs> I call them. I call them the city council. Yeah, that's good. Well, whatever they are in this society, they're not hurting anybody, and nobody does anything to stop them from gathering to have their beer at the kiosk at the train station. So, how much way. how much more civilized can you live than that? Well, there's some place. Get your anus in uh, a, a six for sure, huh? Oh, there's some places you just have a beer in public and the, the system goes insane and they want to lock you up. 
You have an open container. Oh, uh, yeah, so what? So if the cops come to your house, they'll try to get you to come outside, you know, if you've been drinking in your house. And then right. Oops, public and such, right? That's, that's why I say I've, I've time-traveled into the fucking machine here and ended up in the past somewhere. <laughs> this place is so, it's old, but it's got the technology, but they only use it when they want to. They don't. They don't use it to fuck with people. They you know, only in emergencies. And then there's very rarely anything goes on around here. There you go. There you go. But, but they're all modern. They're all on cell phones and internet and a whole fucking thing. But they're just not so mean to each other. I think. Hey, we had some uh, hmm. some left. You can still come and get it, the Grim Leftovers. Oh, did you listen to him yesterday? I listened to him today. I missed a, a part of it. I was ah, out. you should you should catch it because it was a pretty – yeah, he has fun. The more shows he does with the uh, leftover crap, the more fun he seems to have doing it. So it's fun to listen to it. Hey, Hans made it, but <laughs> – Fuck. Hans made a mess. Big deal. Tell him to get a towel and clean it up. He'll understand what that means. We'll, de- we'll dedicate this broadcast to uh, Mr. Hans Gruber. <laughs> Who's that? Hans. Sure. <laughs> Are you out of your freaking mind? Why? What do you got good to say about the man today? Hey, listen. What, uh, what? what would you all do in the chat without him? I mean, you'd, you'd have to just be bored. Oh, is that it? Is that what you really think? Yeah, it gives you all something to do, excitement, play with one another. No, it's it's like an annoying itch. It's like having to scratch your balls right in front of somebody that you don't sure. want to watch, exactly. that you don't want to have watch you scratch well, I, your balls. I would then you got to figure out, how can I possibly sit here and in front of you scratch my balls when I don't want either of us to do that? <laughs> Why That's you... what being around Hans is like. <laughs> then you enjoy it. It's... No, not really. Just, just no, not really. Oh, I'm having so much fun. No, I've definitely... Celebration. No, nah, maybe you do, but no. Kind of bored. The guy, the guy needs to write some new material. He's bored me to death with the same crap for you. Nah. Bleh. Boo! Where's the gong? Let's get us a big gong, and when he comes in... Gong. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. I'm telling you, man. Still, uh, type in the chat for me. Type what? Say, uh, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Uh, You're not the boss of me, mister. <laughs> you can't make me do things against my will. What do you think? Oh, no. oh, what man. about your slave oh, or something? <laughs> type what? No, I tried summoning the black one today. It didn't work. Fuck. I give up. When I want him there, he's not there. When I don't want him there, there he is. Go figure. It's like being paid back for an old crime from the past. <laughs> I must have done something wrong when I was eight years old. <laughs> so I'm getting tortured today with Hansel. <laughs> hey, read my chat name. Let me see. let me hear what it sounds like. Uh, reading his chat. Okay. Write something, you big baby. No, oh, read my chat name. Oh. Vinny VPN Uranus. Did I go with something else? Well, I knew I knew what it meant because I was there when that comment came up. So the VPN thing. <laughs> but, but if you're just reading it, I don't uh, know how you would get to far it. Away. <laughs> <laughs> VPN Uranus. Wow. <laughs> you uh, you have this thing for Biden. You and Cirque. Cirque likes Joe Biden. Cirque thinks that Joe Biden is very interesting. <laughs> Doesn't want to be in the same room with him, but he's very interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. My wife has all the respect in the world for my political past and present and future. Right, honey? See? Told you. Have you ever ah. voted? <laughs> uh, ever, ever what? Voted ever in your life? No. Uh-uh. Not once? No. Not for nobody. Nothing. Why would why would I vote? They never run anybody I think is worth fucking voting for. I'd run government completely different well, than the way government runs government. I'd charge the guy sitting in the fucking seat to hold the seat. 
What? Well, let me ask and you. And then this. the longer what? you're in the seat, the, the more it fucking costs you. Boy, the if bucks, you're there past bucks. two years, you'd be paying two million dollars a month. <laughs> listen, I, what? I think I was on a rant. You're interrupting I, me. Listen, no, you're getting away from. <laughs> I need need you to get on board with me. Okay. Here. Well, now, listen. What if you were offered offered some type of incentive or reward? Maybe like a a sparkling pony, in rainbows. Yeah. What to do? What to vote? Nah. What for? No, 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 no. I know better. No, you gotta no, 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 no. Voting. I mean, that's the whole purpose. Okay. Of you name one ex- one example in the history of voting and voting for that ever worked out for the voter, and I'll consider your challenge. Otherwise, fuck you. There, there oh. was. Lord of the Flies. I don't know. <laughs> that wasn't voting. That was totalitarianism at its finest. Well, I mean, if you protest, is that not a vote? Uh, not if I was taken over, it wouldn't be a vote. It'd be a, just a loud mouth surrender. You're still going to do it. I've taken control. Don't you get it? There you go. Glasses. No, there's no asking about taking control. Don't you get the glasses, man? Uh, Break your fucking glasses. Wow, you cuss so much. I'm sorry. You got me all taking over the world. <laughs> I'm in taking over the world mode. What do you, you want me to do? You can't do it like that. Nobody will like you. Maybe people got to like you. You can't cuss at them to conquer the world. Well, then fuck it. <laughs> Easy yeah, game to play. Drop, then I'm out. And stop. Quit. Thanks for listening, folks. We'll see you next time. The perfect world. Contrast yeah. the occupation. We've well, had I just took over back. your world, Vinny, and you won't wow. see. You're going to resist and have you to send. Vote. You can't be here, buddy. I'm going to have to send people classes. in to, to thump you for not listening to my orders. Listen, little piggy. <laughs> oh, you say that when they're stomping on your forehead. <laughs> Go on. Be a big shot guy on the radio. Wait till they're stomping on your freaking door. And then you'll change your tune. You How be all stomping on Huh? Pretty bad. They'll probably have guns, too. Don't. They'll want your land. Yeah, because some, tr- you know, legal technicality. You probably smoked pot in 1989 or something, and that's against the law. So that you, you can't live here anymore. <laughs> be ready. Shit's going to happen. Whatever you do, don't don't start pissing off the Jews. That's going to bite you in the ass. You know, I don't think we even have any Jewish people where, where I live. Don't matter. No hide laws are coming. They're coming to a government near you, baby. You just watch. And well, your, go- your government's got a lot more sheep than my government here does. Some people are too dangerous, though, aren't they? Shouldn't they be silenced? Who? Which side? Anybody that's saying dangerous things. Why? What that? What happened to freedom of speech, you big bully? Now you turn it on. Wow. Now you're starting to sound like the enemy, mister. Well, there's just some things that little children, maybe they don't need to hear. Well, you know, there's just some things little children should just be taught and just get over it. <laughs> or stop living that way and you wouldn't have to. And if you taught her, we'll learn. Oh, yeah. it's all. This is all a product of a, a, a deception. A no, it's not a question. It's the product of a deception, all of it, based on no, fake money. Ask. Come on. We're being fucked. Where will they learn? Well, who's going to learn, and what are they going to do with the knowledge they get? It doesn't matter, Vincent. Stop being all pie in the sky about it. You need to get back inside the lines, buddy, before you have to get slapped down. Uh-oh. Are you threatening me, sir? I'm asking, <laughs> though. I'm asking you. Yeah. It's for your own. <laughs> what? Well, I'm just saying, be careful bitching about the Jews in the future because the Noahide laws are coming. You'll see if you don't already fucking know what that means. You'll find out. Unless you don't, unless you, if you, if you bow to the freaking Jews, then you're okay. You're a good slave. But if you, know you what, resist against them, they're gonna fucking shut you up. You'll it's, see. You can't just put some cap on it. Call it a Jew. Yeah, I, I mean, can. I can do what I want. I'm out of control. On top of their head. Mm. The things that were the little brown. This is why I say there's a group of people that have hijacked the Jew, and now they've got this this nation state crap bullshit identity, and they do all this crap behind that identity, and it's not even their identity. It's just something that fools the public. It's a really good game. Well, I want to talk about 
people what? ought to shut up. Don't shut up. Know? Wait, people ought to shut up. What? Yeah. Well, that's that's what's trending right now. Is <laughs> yeah, censored. Kick them off the, <laughs> off the platform. Because it's dangerous. <laughs> well, that just kind of shows you the, the weak-minded people that are, are out there to control. You sure. know who's calling for this? Everybody. Do you know uh, mm. kick Alex Jones off and Louis Farrakhan uh, and uh, yeah. uh, Lord Bloomer and uh, mm. there's a long list of people. Yeah. And so what? What do you think about that? Oh, uh, okay. What do I think about? I think that people that just don't have the balls to either ignore what they don't like or listen to what they don't like and throw shit at the wall are a bunch of pussies. You can either ignore it or you can look at it, but to cast it aside, no, 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 no. That's why I've never insisted on banning Hansel. I just wish Hansel would grow a brain and say something intelligent once in a while. (laughs) But we do. But, you know, fuck, you can pray all you want. Shit ain't going to happen. Are you keeping up with chat? I would. Well, uh, I don't know. I got we got a thank you out of Moose Girl for something, but the chat's behind us. We said something thirty seconds ago that wasn't insane. <laughs> kind of creepy, man. What? Oh, is it kind of creepy to you? Yeah, that's kind of getting all uh, Biden like. Hey, you know it's really creepy. You? The smell of kimchi. You it's ever smell kimchi? Color. Have you? I love kimchi. Are you, you kidding? You redneck freak that oh, would probably hey. eat damn pig nuts. There's no, no, yeah. yeah. There's no, uh, there's no kimchi in the in the hills out here. Nobody would it's probably a Korean food. Bone. I guess, yeah. Yeah. Oh but my god. An episode of Mash where Burns caught him burying bombs out there. But, well, I don't know, but I used to work in this bar, and the, the restaurant owners were of the Korean persuasion. And the wife loved, well, he wasn't, she was. And she loved her, her kimchi. Ooh. Oh, I love it. Oh. The smell of that stuff, it's like rancid gym socks marinated in human waste. Just not, disgusting. Beyond freaking, I, words do not describe how negatively I react to that horrible, just disgusting smell. Um, so do, to watch somebody else eat it is the equivalent of me pulling the, the dog shit joke on the kids with the candy bar. That feeling of, oh, my God, you're actually eating that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got the I got the kids. I would practical joke people when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, the old dog shit. Which dog shit on the floor? Huh? That that looks like your dog shit that I pick up. It was chocolate made out of a... T- uh, <laughs> Out of a Snickers bar, I got the idea from um, Tyrone Bigums on TV. Anyway, so <laughs> yeah, and then I'd pick it up, and they'd be looking at me all like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I'd take take a bite. Ah, this is it's Shelby's. I could tell. I, I knew it. <laughs> and then I, but of course, the father was in on the joke from the <laughs> beginning with me, so he knew. And he's watching these kids just get all crazy because they think I'm eating dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's that lets you know, though, the people that live with you think you're that insane in the first place. <laughs> that you'd really do that, that it wouldn't be a practical joke. You'd think, hey, that's funny. That's a good joke. No, they're, they're going, hey, he's eating the dog shit. There you it's go. actually what? much funnier if you can get them to uh, eat it or smoke it. <laughs> I smoke it. Yeah, but I did it with a Snickers bar. How do you smoke a Snickers bar? I've never yeah. tried that. Yeah. Is that some kind of Arkansas thing? Uh, no, I want <laughs> these nephews out in the. They're all like, "Oh, look, is that pot?" I said, "No, it's it's some ragweed. It's a weed, you know." They said, "Oh, that's all yeah. bunk pot, you know, ragweed." Can you? Yeah, I smoke it. I said, "Well, yeah, for a little while, but you know, how do you smoke homegrown and then you?" You don't get high no more. So I, I was smoking that stuff, right? And so I'm like, I ain't getting high off this no more. And I had goats. So I said, come here. I'm going to show you boys something. <laughs> right here. I was them goats eat that. And they concentrate it into these little pellets right here. And 
And I, I put the, put the lighter to it and puffed it through big, get a little. <laughs> You're and, a cruel man, wild <laughs> slurp. I, I got two out of three to hit it. <laughs> oh, you got some kimchi. A big old heap. Yeah, yeah, and then I got some. A dozen fresh cheese and pepper veggie tamales. But I eat my, I eat my Mexican food with Mexican meat. Because Mexican meat is fueled on, well, Mexican meat, obviously. We don't got into that Danish-type meat. You know, I had a friend come out from Vegas, and uh, all out there walking through the woods, and he's all like, yeah. hey, looky here, what, what are them things right there? I said, <laughs> well, them smart pills. He said, really? And he starts to stuff in his shirt pocket, and he has a mouthful, starts smacking. He said, you know, this tastes like crap. <laughs> you and your yes, Vincent. <laughs> Oy. I'm gonna bottle them up, but yeah. I tried that, and then the FDA, FDA got on over. Hey, I got a question for you. Yeah, I, I want you to compile a list of that's the, not a question. The t- well, it's a question. I just want you to compile a list. This is what it is. What are the top ten? Dumbest ideas in the entire world. Well, well, well. I could make a a pretty good list, couldn't I? Yeah, but see, a guy like you, that's what I mean, is you're all against shit I haven't even thought of yet. Against? No, I'm for things. I'm not. Oh, yeah, like for taking away all your shit. I know how you're for things. Okay, you call it what you want, Mr. Contrasting. I am am for people preserving their property. Yeah? Yes, yeah. Whose whose stolen property are you on, mister? Um, Well, it's got deeds and titles and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, a big fucking deal. I bet you behind all that deeds and title game shit we play, even me and Zurich are sitting on stolen land from somebody. It's actually paid for, this land here. <laughs> paid for. <laughs> well, you got to pay every year, too, the tax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, you know, in a few years, they'll come along and, and auction it off and sell it out. And then they just, what, bury you with a backhoe? I mean, how what do they do with you? They could. If they if you won't move off, I guess they um, dig you out. You could get some Indians to come and help you protest. I'm part Indian. Well, you could get some real Indians. I'm like, uh, I don't know, three thirty seconds. Yeah, but they got those groups that, that they no, they they're actors. They 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 rent themselves out to be like victims of shit. You can get like a whole bunch of those people. We Do should. a GoFundMe and tell them that you know you're gonna protect your land until they kill you. Then you need money for court. Well, but you raise all kinds of money doing I, that. Something like that. I don't know, have a standoff with the government. Wow. For the attention, so you could be important to the society that you're not part of. I don't understand. Well, that's what I see, a bunch of people acting like morons over stupid shit. But the only way you can really explain it to them is to make it more ridiculous than it already truly is. So if somebody I, had a standoff and saying to the government, no, listen, hold up. You can't just come in here and trick me with all this stuff that you put in the place after the fact. <laughs> yeah, no shit. What, what happens if you do that? If you say no. Uh, who would what listen? People come say no. Right. Well, see, that's that's go the home. That, yeah, go that's home. The indoctrination back. side of that, Vinny, Fine. isn't it? That's but, what happens. But isn't that the indoctrinated side of that problem? People, people that are. Got, Listen, people got really unindoctrinated real quick. When they saw that picture that went uh, viral of Eric Parker on the bridge, they call him the, the sniper on the bridge. Uh, people got excited. The Bundy Ranch Facebook page has two thousand people following it. That's a lot of people. And that, you know, not, not everybody uh, in the world knows about it. But you know what? You'd be surprised how many people actually do know about it. I met a guy yesterday. He uh, came come uh, out from down around southern Oregon, down down near Klamath Falls. So we, I talked to him a little bit about how they're going to tear that uh, that dam down, thinking that's a good good idea. What? It's nonsensical. The tear oh, out. Okay, of- all right. But Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. See, for for me living here, is, I moved here before all this stuff was in my face. 
Okay? So living here the way I live and looking on to the states the way it is, it's a different way to see it. Well, it's it's so obvious. See, the corruption is more obvious to me looking at it from where I'm sitting than it was when it were when I was sitting in it than sitting out of it looking on. Hold on this minute. Yeah. I I may be confusing Vincent with my piss poor explanation of this. It's really hard to translate this to somebody else. But I think that when I lived in America and I saw the legal schmeagle shit going on, it didn't really interest me too much in the first place. So I didn't give a fuck. Then when I left America and I started to notice how things work and how they're done, pay attention to it a little more, then I had an opinion about it. And it, it's not very pretty from where I'm sitting. And I just think that standing outside of it looking on it is different than being in it looking at it. I think no. I lost it. No, there he is. I got a I got a little example for you going on right here. Now, okay. a friend of mine's mom, he was telling me, uh, figured out how to deal with the ants. The good thing about these ants here is they don't bite you. Now, if she's down in Texas, they'd be them fire ants. But so it's what I got was some powdered sugar and some uh, baking soda. And I mixed it together half and half. And you know what happened? No. The ants, they didn't even touch it. I says, ah, you know what I did wrong? You know what I did wrong? Too much baking soda. Yeah, that's right. Had to sweeten it. It's probably it up. more like nine to one. So, yeah, that probably about right. I, I sweetened it up, and what I did was, because I had it in a container, I just kind of cheated a little bit just for a test, poured some more of the powdered sugar on top, and then mixed just the top So and along the side. So what they've got is they've got it eating around the edges, and they're all over it. And uh, what I will expect to see is their numbers diminish. So I might even want to add a little more sweetener uh, just so I really get them moving because it looks like some of them are dying uh, in the fray there. So they take it back and eat it up and die. Yeah. I'm not an ant. I'm not anti-ant, right? Well, I just don't want them living with me. Well, I found a a poison source so to speak. It's supposed to kill insect life when you want it to. Okay, and this is what it's called. I might have spelled it wrong, but if you're close enough, your computer will figure it out. And, that's just earth. Yeah, you can, but see, it's it's not harmful to us, but it doesn't do the insect life any good do, deed. It'll tear them apart. I have a couple of bags over here of diatomaceous earth with uh, some bitnite clay in it. Okay, then that's probably not the source that's fit for human consumption because yeah. well, there's different kinds. It's not food grade. It comes right, food grade. There you but, go. Thanks, yeah, Vinny. no, it's just it's just dirt and fossils. The diatomaceous earth is uh, fossilized microscopic creatures, and they're um, you know people carry a lot of internal parasites they're not even aware of. So it was what I got with some here. I'm going to do a little uh, uh, set or uh, what do you call it uh, ritual. <laughs> Anyways, a little segment here, just taking that right there through a week. Mix it in a glass of water, drink it down. It also absorbs toxins out of you. It's kind of like a, a chelation. So I'm going to do just a little mini uh, uh, toxic uh, store absorb type of deal with Well, uh, yeah, you're getting a thumbs up from Donna. What I get? Uh, she says it's. Uh, you ever read the chat? Anyway. And Grimner and Moose, Grim say helping Moose out with a little water fox issue on the main feed right now, folks. See, yeah. Grim's always there for us, backing us up so that we can do the stuff that we make such a big deal out of. <laughs> yeah, okay, it dehydrates them and it eats up their skeleton or something. It's really right. vicious. Yeah, because insects have exoskeleton. So. <laughs> Not little... after they eat this shit, if they don't. Well, they don't. <laughs> you know, it's it's water. Depends on the bug and what you're mixing that with, because it's not oh, them eating. Yeah. They're not eating that, right? They're if walking you, through it. Something you can, yeah. They're walking through it, okay, and it yeah. cuts because these things are so sharp, microscopically. It cuts their exoskeleton, and then they dehydrate. That, that's what the, how that Ooh, works. That's the rumor, Ike. Yeah. So yeah, if you're if you eat it yourself, if you had like uh, food grade worm, yeah. And, yeah. yeah, people. Yeah. 
people used to get wormed regularly, but they don't really do that anymore. Matter of fact, look, uh, there, there, I've seen where uh, a lot of yeah, autopsies, there, a lot of people were never diagnosed with uh, trigonosis. Uh, well, that's because we got inoculated from all that, so we don't have them anymore. Okay. We got worm inoculations. I doubt it. Shh. It's what they're telling people. Don't ruin the flow. Don't be a don't be a clot in the blood flow of society. Are you insane? Well, Keep up the lies, Vinny. The lies. That's what matters. People uh, need to know. I'll but go with crazy. You gonna, are you a conspiracy theorist? No, I'm a pro prospire. A prospire. Oh my. Yeah. I prospire. I do not. Ah, not perspire. You prospire. Yeah, not conspire, but prospire. <laughs> conspire. What a con. This whole thing. Conspiracy theory. I don't know. What do you think is going to happen? You Are you worried for your life? Are zombies going to uh, come and take your shit away from you? No, but I think we have a zombie apocalypse. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie you apocalypse. You've got to be able to survive 30 days, sir. Yeah. Two Why? Months, a year. Why? I mean, worst case scenario. Yeah. And tell, tell uh, if you need somebody to rescue you, you know, then you're going to be in bad shape. If you can't sustain yourself. I, I say to them, because oh. that covers all extreme. Oh. There's a good audio book. I really enjoyed it. It was how I stopped worrying and uh, learned to uh, love the apocalypse. Oh. I think it was called, um, which is a takeoff on, oh, I forget who that guy was. I learned to stop worrying and love the something. I'll have to go look it up, but um, somebody literate, smart, that they'll know what I'm talking about. Nothing nothing compares to seeing that Cowboys and Idiots car, the movie, though. Oh, I'm going to watch that. That's epic. They really did a good job. It's I like the, done that. so cheaply. It's kind of shitty that they didn't spend any money making the film. But it, the actors did a good job with the dialogue. You, if you, you're a wordsmith, so you'll appreciate it. What? Oh, there's did a it? lot of uh, options here on when I type in how I stopped worrying. I start just keep typing. How yeah. I stopped worrying about diatomaceous earth. No. Oh, no, no. No. No, sir. No, sir. What, sir? We've lost contact lost. with any. Huh? That's the top. That's the uh, top quote here. Or, well, search. And in quotes. Yeah, from Dr. Oh. Here it is. Dr. Strange Love. How I stop. Learn to stop worrying and love the bomb. The bomb, yeah. No, that's me and Sirk's joke about it. Yeah. But I, I'm far too lazy to bother with any damn... Uh, Scavenging the the grounds for meals and no picking brain nah fuck all that I don't think so I just make some slaves out of some freaking zombies or something but I'm not gonna go through all that suffering crap and that's for what are you gonna do jump off the roof no Break. I just make some slaves out of the zombies and you can't do that one how do you know we haven't got there yet have we now you're being ridiculous. Maybe the Danish zombies will be more uh, reasonable than American zombies. How do you know? They're more reasonable here now a lot than, of they ever, than they ever were when I was home. So let's you just gotta, take that. You've got to realize that these zombies, there's a lot of uh, degree which you'll classify defined a zombie. Defined. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, what's going to start all this zombie stuff going on in the first place? Um, hmm? Hmm? Cannibal Rain. That was another book. It was pretty good. No zombie. But, right, people, but what's going to what's going to start it? So how am I going to know? You not do you not realize that wars are created years in advance, and all wars are bankers' wars. Wars. There's profit in peace, and there is profit in war. In war. Yeah, and the Ferengis say there's no profit in peace. My body. Yeah. So I'm going with the Ferengis. They say there's no no profit in peacetime. No, that's not what they say. There's, they say that there's pro, there is profit in peace, and their next uh, rule is there is profit in war. <laughs> Absolutely. War and well, peace. That's so, the way you define it. I define I, it quite differently. <laughs> Don't tell me how to define something. Are you, 
Are you the world, the word police of the world, and you're going to tell me what to, to uh, think? I'm going to ask for a few Latin. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what, you're the word police, and i got to believe what you tell me? What What's going on here? I thought this was in a perfect world where we uh, procrastinate the oculations. Well, <laughs> in this case, my VPN is Uranus, so <laughs> take it from there, Mr. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's no mystery that me, Vinny, yeah. to say. Oh, something about stinky fish challenge. i got to put my glasses back on here. Yeah, I would if I was you. You could see the world more clearly when you have them on than when you have them off. I guarantee. Hey, I should run for public office with a slogan like that. I guarantee if you read something with your glasses on, You'll see it more clearly. Wow, I almost sound like I'm snow shit, huh? No. Hey, fuck you. I, you said almost. Say, yeah. Come on, I'm a grand. <laughs> almost. No, yes. They, they they had the Danish. I'm trying to help you here. Hey, they had the Danish selections here. I think that, what was the selection today? Oh, no, they're just announcing the selections here. And they got like 13 different parties that run for the shit. So it's more fun than a barrel full of stuff. Yes. Oh, yeah, they put posters up. It's it's like a circus, like any other, you know, vote for me circus. But it's a little prettier here than the one I'm from. I got to say that. I want to know what bragging is. Oops. Well, I get my hats off to the Danes because they figured out the ass reaming you get from a decent looking blonde is way better than the ass reaming you get from some old guy that looks like he's married to the decent looking blonde. <laughs> so they they go with the younger faces. It hurts less. Never mind. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what prang pranging is. You know. I don't know. I was pontificating about the Danish voting situation. Uh, I don't even know about them guys. They circles. Well, I'm sitting in the middle of it. How, I know about it. You party. I think they got um, oh all kinds. She forgot the last one. Uh, yeah, she, I know. She left one out. I think it's the one I posted the, the link about yesterday. There's this new party that uh, doesn't even want taxes. They don't want immigrants. They don't want this immense. They don't want that immense. They don't want tax immense. Fuck it all. <laughs> so they probably have like eight voters behind them. They have the new and improved. Uh, look, yeah. Vincent, you're. Are you sitting down? I'm. I could stand up if I need. Okay. To. Because I'm going to tell you something you may not be aware of to this moment in your life. Are you ready? Are you prepared for this bit of knowledge I'm going to share with you? Wait a minute. Hold on. Stop. <sighs> I'm leaning back. I'm taking my glasses off. Hey, I'm warning you. This is huge. It's a prank. I, I'm a, I believe you're going to drop the no, bomb. No. I'm going to tell you something about politics that you need to be aware of. Pranking politics. Yep. Even the people that lose in politics are making money. Peace I have, up, I have spoken. Let That's it be known, world, that I have I've noticed this. <laughs> I'm putting my glasses. I observed on. it. <laughs> I, I saw it. <laughs> so wave. Do uh, you feel like you dropped the bomb? No, I feel like hoopty fucking doopty. It doesn't matter what you tell the public. To tell the the public, ninety percent of them either don't know, don't care, or don't understand. And the ten percent that got the time to, half of them don't. There you, you go. Bring on me. It's all your fault. I'm blaming I, you, Vinny. Hey, you I'm, should go on Facebook and straighten these fucking people out. <laughs> What's wrong with them? Still voting for Trump. What, you no. and your you and your social experimentation. Ugh. Please. You failed. <laughs> Big F from the dork table for failure. I'm telling you. Your social disease. <laughs> that's what I think. Wink. <laughs> what, who, who sings that? There's something about disease. <laughs> Uh, Elton John, I'm a social disease. You no, know, it's one of them long hair bands. No, it's Elton John. He was never long hair. No, not him. Another one. I'm, okay, well, it's only social disease I could come up with. You social disease person. Ugh. He doesn't click Wapo links any more than I click 
Fox Link, says Grubner. Wow, what's a WAPO link? I don't know. Hmm. You're a WAPO. Am I a WAPO? Oh, Washington Post, yeah. No, no, I, I read the Washington Post was bought up by some other dick, so yeah, it was already... I... Eh, 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 if it's popular, Vincent, fuck you in your ear. If it's mainstream popular, it's crap. If you don't know that, you need to know that. I uh, I let Washington get wangled out of 20 bucks from, the, I think it was the Washington Post. <laughs> I had to I pay you. a buck for uh, 90 See? days, free, free run, and then I didn't realize that. I didn't know that. I thought I'd get a, you know, like a notice, but then I noticed a couple of months later that uh, they'd come along and got me for the $10 a month for two months in a row. Uh, <laughs> sucker. Yeah. That's right. Make me pay for the news that you get you for. See, if you're going to live in a contract world, read the freaking contract. That was my fault. Pay attention. Yeah, yeah, stop. Your signature, Vincent, is the most powerful thing that you possess. You don't, even you don't know how to use it. If you knew how to use it, you'd be worth a fortune. Because you might follow that road. Follow the signature. Get a copy of your birth record. Change your life. <laughs> I'm just making jokes. Don't get a, Don't have an aneurysm or anything. Okay. And not only do you not like WAPO, but I don't think Grim likes WAPO either. Well, they go. have they, they if that's it, see, there's so many of these different names. Wow, are, I think it is Washington Post that they they uh, publish a lot of stories that is at the top of the uh, mainstream media's uh, feed, right? Uh, yeah, people are eating at the trough. Understand? So you got to know what they're saying in in order to understand what people are saying or why they're saying it. Right? Oh, so, really? You are, believe that? You like, also give, give me an example. What like you what? Swallow. You say what you swallow, my friend. Well, give me an example of, like, are you talking about this up being up to date about the Bundy thing? Or are you talking about this Federal Reserve sure. Bank being a private bank industry that we fuel like a bunch of idiots? Well, if people don't understand what the uh, the monetary system is, then, yeah. you know, we'd have to just stop and really... Okay, all right. Well, hold on a minute. Let, let's say that somebody out there has never heard our show before, and they hear all this crazy stuff up to this this moment. What would you tell somebody that was new about the money system to make it interesting for them to follow through and see what it truly is? Because this it just to tell you know for I've been doing this for so many years. I'm used to just talking this way. I would say it like this. Dude, do you remember back when you could get a uh, concert ticket for like eight bucks and now it's like a hundred? You know what that is? Of course uh, I do, but uh, what's. Reserve system. It's yeah, the uh, interest on the debt. That's a trick. The interest on the debt is what we're, what's killing us. Compounded. Unfucking paid debt over and over. A year, hundred and something years of this. They've never printed the money to pay the debt. The only the money the debt is for, but not the money to pay the debt with. That's never in print. Yeah. So how how do you do that? <laughs> it's fucking magic. This whole thing is a big illusion to me. I don't believe none of it. None of it, except you know what I can see. Well, I gotta ask you again. Can you see yeah. the wind blow? Yeah, but see, I I get to you my. You can't anger. see the wind blow. I can't. You don't have to see the wind. How do you air. know? Maybe I do. Maybe I have magic glasses that show me what wind is. Yeah, all you got to do is take your glasses off. And do what? Then I can't see anything. Yes. I'm blind. You can't uh, take uh, your glasses uh. off. Maybe you can hear. hear oh, the, hear the wind. You have more than one sense. I do? Yeah. Wow. Then, That's not what Hansel says. He says you have no sense. Something like that. <laughs> Think you was good for nothing. <laughs> yeah, when yeah. I was a little bitty boy, my mom and pop paid my brothers and sisters to be good. I always said I was good for nothing. <laughs> now what? I don't know, because I interrupted you, because when I hear, so I know so much about, I've known about money for so long, I suppose that it's just second nature.
but I never really talk about it in public because I'm, I'm in Denmark now. There's not really much to discuss here about it. But back home, it, it, nobody knew what the fuck any of that meant anyway. You know who Brian Hyde is? What? what, 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 what? Speak Brian English, son. Hyde. Brian. No. Who Brian Hyde is? Apparently not, because you had to say his name three times. Yeah, but yeah, you never, you don't remember me talking about. Him. I talked about Brian, Brian Hyde. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was a no. fish for the the Bundys out there at uh, Federal Trial in Las Vegas. Well, you've talked about. Come on, Vinny. I I don't have that kind so of memory to remember that kind of detail. That's, every name you mentioned. That's why. Yeah, that's why I let him say. I knew you wouldn't remember his name. Okay, but, but what great what yeah. great thing did Brian Hyde do? There's uh, uh, an article he just put out. Uh, that's from SouthUtahNow.com. All in the name of protecting us, of course. It's where I, I took the title from uh, his posting. Last week, Facebook took another giant leap forward, purging its social media platform of figures it considers extreme. Deflecting concerns over this latest round of soft censorship by saying their company, their rules, well, it may be technically true, but it's also a cop out uh, for how to handle objectionable views. So it's happening there in the uh, um, post places, Facebook, Twitter. But uh, listen, this uh, this this is a good guy. Really uh, glad to know Ryan. Um, I, I consider him kind of a high influential person in my life. I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this. I'm going to post it. Yeah. Okay. yeah, but you're a big old hermit living the Free. middle of damn nowhere. Antidote to Dangerous Ideas. That's the name of it from uh, SouthUtahNow.com. Boom. So, and that comes straight, straight from VNA, VPN, Uranus. Do, 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 do. <laughs> wow. Well... Your your mom must be so proud. That's all I can. I couldn't think of anything else after that one, Mister hey, Uranus. What else are you gonna do with somebody's opinion? I don't know, but I think that hey, Joe I, fucking Biden is really turning into a bad thing. You need to stop thinking about creepy Joe. Let me tell you how to to them He's perverting so, your mind. You're becoming no, a stranger. See, I know it's gonna rain because I can follow <laughs> the leaves. Are rippling in the colors. Uh, yeah, you feel yeah, a little bit of barometric pressure. Whoa. Okay. My... No, I just got a lick sore right in the middle of like the show. It. You can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, oh think... yeah. yeah, sure. Mike Tyson delivering. Yeah, the rather report you got didn't help either, did it? I didn't do it. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I know. It just tells me general what time, or the temperature then. That's not general. It's supposed to be. But it's not specific because actually my temperature is different here than because I'm like way, way up on a mountain. Not in. Oh, it is so beautiful here. It is all full of fo the foliage. Is full. Oh, don't start all that stuff and then don't, don't take any video and prove it. I, I you know that drives, drives me nuts when people do nope. that. What? Talk a bunch of shit, and then they won't prove it. What shit? I want to see video of how wonderful whatever it is you're talking about is. Oh, maybe yeah. maybe I don't think it's so damn wonderful. I what do you got, think of that? Huh? I huh? got a lot of it because you can go see on my YouTube. My YouTube channel is uh, Vincent Easley. You can find it. What uh, matters? Okay. That's true, because you're, you're a poster child for, boy, I, I got, got some... shit to post. I know you know what I hardly actually ever post any videos. I mean, um, just some places I happen to been and things I've done. I put up a few too up there, but I think that it's been a while. It was a while in between the the last one and the one before that, maybe a year or more. But I was putting videos up here at the uh, Thunder Ranch Standoff playlist at Real Liberty Media on YouTube. Yeah, but you're no creepy Joe. Yeah, and I I'm not a poster man, you know. I, I ain't all crazy about all that geek like and share it because it's all controlled in the algorithm and it's like uh, beating your head against the wall. Why play? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, but you know what? Some people I know don't. They don't think the world's round. Um, 
Yeah, you know, I can't prove it's round or flat, but I can look objectively, and I've got a lot of answers for why the world is round. But you know what I like? Right, about? yeah. No, there, there's a lot of answers for the round. There's not a lot of answers, for, but there's a lot of questions from the flat. A lot of flat statements, but not... Well, the one where they're looking across the Great Lakes over to Chicago, and they say, oh, you can't see that far because... The uh, yeah. But forget the atmosphere is, is uh, you know, refraction, reflection, and how light is bent and curved around. So, uh, yeah, it, you, you've got to, you can't just say this is that without going and demonstrating or falsifying it. So mm. that's, false, that's falsified very easily. Falsified. Easily falsified. Falsified, really? <laughs> falsified. You just keep making it up as you go, or what? Easily. I said easily. Like easily. Well, yeah, but you said falsified, too. No charge. I That's think a... I'm going to call a, a penalty on that one. <laughs> I can give you a five yard penalty. <laughs> well, I'm going to punt, anyways. Take it away. Yeah, Mr. Pancakes is a posting on minds.com. You're a just poster. in case you people are out there that follow pancakes yeah he's everywhere pancakes is my buddy what can Deep i say in your rain is I, i'm not hey. too oh. crazy about too many people though Ooh. people make my tumor bleed vincent speaking of tumors bleeding how how are you and robert getting along these days who oh robbie robert the, the bubbler boo boy yeah no um i don't I, he's on Iggy here, but you know, I, ah, my come computer. on, man. Rob Sometimes works. I have to pop over there. He refer something, and maybe I'll go over and look to get okay. a link. Because, but other than that, yeah, I don't care to get with him. Oh, there, are you guys? No, I've, okay. I've got uh, no, I've got more than uh, one person on Iggy and a couple of bots. Really? Yeah, I think I got three. I, listen, yeah, if I don't want to, if you don't want to talk to me, I don't want to talk to you. Then yeah, that's cool. Okay. It, it, yeah, it's it's like a uh, it's. Uh. They say good fences make good neighbors. That Iggy, yeah, very good. That is a really good uh, fence, and it works for me. And, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I like to, you know, get snickety when somebody yeah. wants snickety with me, right? Yeah. I'll, yeah. I, look, Judge Dredd left, and he never listened to a word that was said. Not from your head. Mm. Okay. You know, Dude. I don't like to agree with you because you usually want me to do something insane. I bet I can do something that you can't do or wouldn't do. Well, even I already if... know that. I don't have a hard time, at, at, you know, admitting that I'm pretty much finished in the physical realm. Fish, the physical world outside of where I'm sitting, it pretty much doesn't interest me anymore. Telling Sir just today about that, I said, you know, I like it here so much that I don't even think I'm going to leave it for, I'm done. This mm -hmm. is fine. Well, I've traveled enough. I've been traveling. You know, I did the opposite like you did. Travel, 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 travel. Then you get like, well, fuck, I'm tired of traveling. And so somebody that's not traveled it thinks that you're insane when the reality is you're just switching shoes with them. Well, now here you go out and you you travel and I won't, so that'll balance it out a little bit. Less people out there. <laughs> yeah, I've still well, you know, take my my journey spot. It's great to have a place that uh, you can come back and uh, settle back into. You know, base. Well, yeah, but I don't because the states in the last seven and a half years has turned into a different place than it was when I was even living there. I've been here. I, would, I wouldn't yeah. recognize the stories I've heard about places I've I've visited. That the last time I was there, I thought they were shitty. Uh, to see them the way they're explained today would be like blinding me. Ooh, fuck it! I don't want to see that. So I'm going to choose the not looking at it in you know physical reality thing over ever ah. seeing it again. Yeah. Last in your anus, uh, your head inserted. That's a good place to be. Uh oh, am I being an insulted again? No. I'm huh? 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 Oh. I heard you saying dirty words I'll, at me. I'll get behind you. 
I'm, I don't know. I'm, Let me ask my wife about that. She might not think so. <laughs> do you remember when you lost your Wait, do I remember when I lost what? Are you reading chat? No. I'm talking to you. You remember when you lost right. your mind? We're talking about faraway spaces and places, right? Yeah. The VPN, where you think you're hidden, your head, up, uh, in, even if you went so far as to place it in Uranus. I don't... I'm having trouble following that one, but... Okay, weirdo man. Fuck a camel. What? I have different I have different ideas in my head than you, obviously. You know about the, the camel and his nose, once he gets his nose uh, under the tent? <laughs> no, I, I don't think I've ever been a, around a live camel. I've never found a need in my life to oh, pursue have... a camel. And now that you've brought it up, I hope I never actually see a live camel. I've got some t- camel stories. I used to party with Clyde. He is a famous... <laughs> I should be uh, Arrowhead, uh, right next to Moapa, in the yeah. back. Down from yeah, from the Bundy Ranch. Uh, we used to go party with him. We'd go drink beers and uh, sometimes tequila. But he liked to drink, and he was a cool camel. He wouldn't spit on you or nothing. Uh, he was like very appreciative because he was like locked away in a very small cage forever and ever. It was a terrible life for him. So he liked. We was like friends and stuff, man. And he was like, ah, cool dude, man. I appreciate you guys, guys coming, drinking beer. Yeah, but that our day was a lot nicer. The days we have now have just they've been uh, chis- you know, like chipped away at for so long. It's just made everybody miserable. I uh, I updated a little bit of history for the uh, uh, the uh, museum up in um, Mesquite, Nevada. And yeah, I, but I still think that it makes you miserable, Mister, and you can dodge what, it all you want. What, what makes me miserable? Society. The way that we interact with each other, the things that human life forms have taken on as common are perversions of what really is. We're, yeah, we're I, dealing with a second best version of society because we've been conditioned to believe it's okay. Well, and I don't I, think so. I think it sucks. People think it's okay that they have uh, uh, certain rights and privileges and entitlements. And, you know, what the problem is, is maybe like uh, you say, is the. Uh, you know, stopping the duel. So if somebody, you don't have to pull a pistol on necessarily, but sometimes a, a, a pop in the Slap in the fucking head. Yeah. yeah right. Go all uh, the nose of You know, if somebody threatens you and you slap them in the face with your glove, they might not be so tough. They might fucking reason with you after that. Yeah. Because uh-huh. a lot of times bullies are, are just that. They think that if they take the first shot, that most people will not want a big deal. And they forget there's one out of ten that don't give a shit who you are. Keep your fucking hands to yourself, stupid. <laughs> Never mind. I think we got a pay-per-view coming. A pay-per-view? Me and you? No. Trump uh-huh. and uh, Trump and uh, Hillary. Kank, kank, oh. Uh, yeah, huh? She does have some sexy cankles, huh? I'd have voted for it just <laughs> Wow, um, I you that's a weird. You're so fucking weird sometimes with that stuff. I don't know how to react to it. I feel like that. Well, I don't. I'm not that liberal with uh, joking about it. That this, particular they shit are was very charismatic. If you if they're like vampires, they charm you. If you ever met met uh, Bill, uh, we I like to call him Bub, and uh, <laughs> yeah. You will be like mesmerized. It's like, ah, oh, your cankles are so sexy. And, oh, Bubba, you're a good old boy. Yeah, go ahead and take my gal for a little while. You drive around the block. <laughs> right. Okay, Vince. If you say so. Whoop. I did it again. Oh, I have the worst cut, paste, and copy and stuff luck there is to have. Oh, I'm so sad. I'd call you a retard, but I don't think it's political. No, I don't do that. Acceptable in today's world, in the postmodern world of America. Yeah. Where silence is golden because it will cost you. <laughs> you don't shut your mouth. What do you think about that? Uh, huh? 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 Well, I'm writing the notes, so I really oh. don't think nothing of it. Yeah. 
<laughs> that boy. Well, I'm doing the notes for the show kind of strange tonight because I use that film, Cowboys yeah. and Idiots, to to show Idiot. my wife, you know, I, my I, the great I had culture. But ooh, he's ugly. That boy is. I was trying to show her. You got here, ten four. Good my today. great history and stuff from America. Now I want you to call it my story, man. It's my story, and I'm sticking to it. No, it's not. It's a movie. Yeah. Look, I'm still going to be the. You're the idiot, and we'll call it. Uh, you'll be a bat boy, and I'll be uh, uh, robbing your ass. <laughs> Well, right, but see, I use the movie to show my wife what the Americans are like. <clears throat> I'm gonna watch that movie. Yeah, I am. I've never seen it. Never even heard of it. But well, it's it's both amusing and stupid at the same time. I like that. But it's well written. But if you don't know what you're hearing, it it's like. Uh, hmm. What I like about you. <laughs> well, no, well, it's like having like having. Hidden messages buried into a story. Yeah, that's when funny. you're you're saying this, but you're talking about something completely different. I'll call them cat turds. Or right, but it's a really low B-rated movie, and it didn't have a very good budget, and it had a shitty title. But the content, uh, it's very clever if you watch the whole fucking thing. Well, I'm going to. Mm. I would say you would, because once you start and you st- start catching the one-liners, you'll you'll be amused. I love. Tickle right. your sick bone, Vinny, because you're a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but wh- what did we negotiate tonight? Oh, I don't know. We chatted about the, uh, I guess, fractional reserve banking, Federal Reserve Bank. Oh, we did not. We passed a right little bit. That. No, that's, no, that's false advertisement, man. Well, then what? That's clickbait, baby. Then, well, then, okay, what? What do you remember? Because I'm more stoned than you are, obviously. Uh, I remember sparking up several bowls. And <laughs> yeah, but what did we talk <laughs> about? You 420 m- report, messed everyone up. Listen, you started. Ah, we started with the 420 report, didn't we? And Denmark's. Okay. We talked about Denmark's all upon you. Well, yeah, but Denmark's fine. Sure. Uh, yeah. Denmark. Well, it's calm here. Compared to where I'm from, you know. Well, we talked about censorship too, and the uh, danger. Right, it's dangerous. Some words are dangerous. People should be shut up. Talking about well, okay. cold hard ground. Well, what do you think about that Danish guy that's burning the Koran for publicity and fun and games in the street? Somebody ought to whack him upside the head with a Bible. And then do what? I don't know. Convert him? <laughs> to what? I don't know. What's it, what I, is he next? What if you were like me and you thought all these religions were all a bunch of bullshit? Then what would you do? Whose side would you be on in that case? Which side? There is no side. There's only a direction. No, whatever. You're you're for something or you're against something. And, I'm and, for something. And what do you for? For Name something you're fur and What's we'll see. Right. Always know. right. That means being in the opposite direction, going away from what's wrong. Oh, that. Hmm. Can I ask you something on a serious lat? Again? Yeah, well, do you agree with me that we're fueled on inferior supplies? Yes. Okay, then... How can you claim to make a decent, comprehensible, understood decision on any given topic if your fuel source is fucked with so you can't in the first place? Because well, that's the point of what they're doing is to fuck with our ability to decide. It's, and that's what it seems to do. Uh, it's the gig rig. It's how you dance to the tune. Thank you, Moose Girl. Yeah, very dork. Vinny, Vinny is one of the more dorky people I know. I speak dorkanese. Hey, I I do a show called the Dork Table, so I don't mean that in a bad light. Dorks are people that've been kind of looked at upon by the society and frowned at because we don't fit their little things. Something about us pisses them off. Well, most of them anyway. I think we all just need to sign up. Rest your 
get it all together as a group and realize that, hey, if more people decide that something's better for you and you need to just go on and accept it, take it like a man. Well, like what? I don't know. Maybe uh, take your hat. Got a hat? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You'd rather ride a... Well, you ever heard that song long before you take this cowboy's hat? I'm not a cowboy, you bonehead. Well, you can wear a cowboy hat. kind of. Uh, Why would I wear a cowboy hat if I'm not a fucking cowboy? Because you got well, Where would I buy one? I'm in Denmark. Cowboy. Where do you get cowboy hats in Denmark? What in the cowboy way is to do right? Wait a minute. I don't live in America, so where the fuck is the cowboy way going to show wanna, itself what here? What do you want to do? Get you some Dutch shoes on? Al- Wait, Dutch is a whole other fucking country, you point. Hold on. This is the point. It uh, don't matter. <laughs> cowboy hat, wooden <laughs> shoes. It don't matter if you're not in Holland, okay? You can be in the mm. park with wooden shoes, and you can dance a jig even if the word does not. How <laughs> about <laughs> kill that duck? <laughs> kill the duck. Oh, it I don't is. really, I don't really give a shit much about all the aesthetics yeah. about all that nonsense. You, you, you do or you don't. I, I don't. So I don't care. Whatever people think is their business. Just don't tell me what it is. Don't make it my business by, you know, invading my territory and pushing your shit on me. And well, we get along just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make a one-time offer here for the. Uh, what? Here at RollerBlyMedia dot com. We're gonna get uh, you. Uh, Oh, that's right. Uh, if you're wanting to relocate, we can get you a brand new VPN. Go to the home. <laughs> Remember, you don't have to park yourself in Uranus. Vinny's Bye. new toy is the VPN, so he can hide from the enemy. That way, the NSA can't figure out who he is. There he goes again. He's moved like passing gas. But well, I, I think all this spying, I, I think all this spying shit on us, right? It's no. really kind of pointless. And I it sounds good, but where do you find what do you have? Machines reading the data of machines reading the data of machines. How how many generations does that go on before human beings touch it? I don't and know. then the idiots that are in enforcement. Hey, I'm not done with my rant yet. All the idiots in, for, in enforcement, they can't spell warrant. <laughs> so so what are they going to do with all this information they gather? Okay, I'm done. Hey, I shut Vinny up. Hey, ta-da, cha-ching. Got an extra point for that one. What do we get? He's breaking bad on the Arlen. Hey, I wanted you to let me finish my rant. Not okay, get back. off the show, you bonehead. <laughs> Yeah, but you weren't letting me finish my epic well, rant. Do it. I did. I'm epically ranted. <clears throat> I'm post rant at this particular juncture. How fast? Did you rant? Well, I don't know, but I could go ranty any time for Flog. any particular reason. Flogging. Sometimes for no reason whatsoever. Just feel like saying something. I've got that kind of mind. I speak my mind no matter what. So sometimes I don't. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what is that? I I, th- I don't know. I was losing my my grip on reality here. Flip flopping like a politician running for office. <laughs> Global warming? Why, of course, because I'm running for office, and I have to suck up to all you meat sacks out there that. Believe all the shit the sciences tell you. So, hey, yeah, global warming, get your inoculations, drink your fluoridated water. Vote for no, I'm not me. worried about that as much as global time change. And I, I Re- oh, <laughs> global time change. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Wow. What? Hey, you know, I saw a really bad link about the Australians today. Uh-oh. Did mm. they lose the phone? Nah, the Australians are supposedly dumping all their second-hand uh, waste on Malaysia because the Chinese stopped recycling it. Really? What? What is it? So na- plastics and crap, 
all that recycled shit that comes out of Australia it, is being dumped in uh, Malaysia because the Chinese have stopped recycling it. Well, they so did. now it's collecting in – yeah, let me finish. It's a weird story. Oh. And now it's collecting in millions of tons at a time in Malaysia. There you go. But it comes from Australia. I, I'll bet you what this will happen. There will be people that are resourceful there, and they'll go in there, and uh, they'll take and recycle and make uh, stuff. And With what? They don't have the means to recycle it where it is. They're using it as a storage ground. The people that it went to for that purpose have stopped doing it. So now it's collecting in Malaysia with no home to go to to be turned into something else. They'll, they'll make, like, crosses or something and sell them at the booth. Wow. You know, d- dependent country to country regulations and building and laws to make this and laws to make that. We're being fucked by the very people that we trust to make these decisions. Come on. It's not real, you know, difficult to see this. It's difficult to admit it. Or maybe not by you, but most people don't seem to. Stop. I'll admit it. I admit it. It wasn't me. Well, there you go. It isn't any of us. The people that take orders, they don't, they have to, or they don't get paychecks. That's how this fucking disaster works. You keep the left hand away from the right hand so nobody knows what the other guy's doing. And you threaten them with, well, if you don't do what you're told, you don't have a job. Have you ever fired and that, anybody? That usually works. Have you ever fired Me? anybody? I've never, no, I've never been in a position to fire anyone. I've quit partnerships, but I've never fired a partner. Have you ever been fired? Oh, yeah, from um, jobs, sure, a couple times. Why? Oh, I just wanted to enjoy it. Well, I got fired as a waiter because, uh, well, I didn't have the temperament to take shit from some drunk guy on, on another night when he wasn't drinking. Thought he was going to be a big shot in front of his girlfriend, and I kind of told him to wait his fucking turn like a, you know. <laughs> and the guy that I worked for drugged me off in the kitchen and said, you can't work here and talk to people like that. You're fired. I went, well, okay. Uh-huh. What was I going to do? Argue about it? With it? See, I just argued with somebody, so I'm going to solve that argument by arguing some more. <laughs> no, I got the point. But hey, huh? Had a count. There you go. Hero. So, oh. but my lesson was that I I don't work with the the public in any realistic way. I can't I can't be trusted to keep my temper with them. What are you doing right now? Well, I'm sure as fuck not waiting tables in Tennessee. Oh. What are you talking about? What am I doing right now? I'm, I'm a retired 59-year-old man in Denmark doing fucking anything that I don't want to do. Right now, that's dealing with the public, isn't it? Talking. No, 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 no. no. Um, service work, man. When you when people tell you to do something and you got to go do it, I don't react to people that well to be talked to like that. Yeah. So yeah. I learned real young, stay the fuck away from dealing with the public. Say yes. No, and you, I wasn't too nice to people in service if they were stupid either, like the McDonald's girl. Uh, but and I still remember it because I was so mean to her, but she was an idiot. Shouldn't take five minutes to get a plain hamburger at a McDonald's, but this girl was adamant and wanted to make sure I was getting serviced. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but she said I was mean. I told her, yeah, but, you know, tomorrow I might wake up in a better mood. You're still going to be a fucking idiot. (laughs) So, whoops. (laughs) Turns out people don't like to be told that at the place they work. No. Even if it is true, they still don't want to know it. You know what they want to know? They want a little gold star and a thank you for fucking up your shit. And you know what I don't do to people that fuck up my shit? I don't thank them and give them little gold stars. (laughs) Hey, what, what, do you, what, that, what do you uh, think? Uh, what ship thing? You built that ship thing and cleaned animals. Uh, poop. Ah, he's probably talking about when he was oh, on that oh, boat. What was that boat called? The Ark. Yeah, the one in Kentucky. Yeah, the Ark. You know, that carried all the animals and stuff. 
Yeah, but he wasn't talking about that that one. It's a representation. I think oh. yeah, I built the scale. They built it in Kentucky. Well, listen, we're going to run out here. <clears throat> shall we Ab- tell, absolutely. Shall we tell the folks what's going to happen right here. What a weird show today was. Um, now we even got off to a late start, so we're going to we're going to close early. Yeah. Just, we're going to. I think we ought to do. We ought to boycott ourselves. <laughs> That'll get people to listen. <laughs> Don't listen to this broadcast. I'm going to boycott now. this this show Turn for now. <laughs> it's over. Kick rocks, you know. <laughs> yeah, we sucked. It was horrible. <laughs> no, we're hey, we're just two two comedians doing a doing a having a giggle, doing a uh, I don't know what would you call this, having a hobby, contrasting the occupation, Mister. Well, sometimes your side of the coin is really weird. I got to admit that. Go ahead and do the lineup. You do it really good. Okay, well, let's do that. Well, we started right here on a Tuesday. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Ooh, yep, in a perfect world, contrasting the occupation with uh, Flash, somebody, and me, Vinny. The many Vinnies today, uh, I've changed locations and broadcasting through VPN, Vinny, Uranus, far, far away. Now, Grammy is, uh, uh-oh, I forgot. She's out here. She's not here Wednesday or she's not here Friday. I think... I think she's not going to be here tomorrow, but back Friday, or I've got that in reverse. Anyways, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, a Wednesday, and again on Friday. And in between, we've got, uh, yeah, that's right, just for you at 20% off. We've got Flash and Body, all so low, so low, uh, prices that you would die for. Come on along and listen to Flash and Body Thursday. Uh, and then on Friday, uh, I kick off the free uh, fr- uh, fry- uh, yeah, free with two E's. Freakers Friday. That's right. At noon central. And if you like your time in the eastern part of the world, it's one o'clock. Uh, remember again, Graham, rocket chair, <laughs> blasting off. Six o'clock central. That's where she's at in the land of Kansas. And I'm in, uh, the land of Ozarkian Kansas, uh, Arkansas, that is not yours, but mine. Uh, thank you. Uh, Saturday. We have this guy right here again with a dork table, and he tries to capture a hostage sometimes. And then when follows this Shabbat is uh, at a quarter to twelve. Generally, Gramner sneaks in to introduce some blues, and they play blues. about three hours here. At Real Liberty R L M Radio dot X Y Z X Y Z. Yeah, and play some trivia. You got fast fingers. You like? To, are you like a like to put yourself in jeopardy? If you're smart, come on over here and play some trivia. Uh, Mr. Hal Anthony comes from behind the woodshed every Sunday. At two o'clock on the left coast, that's three p.m. With the notice, fast finder. Hey, if you want to learn where you're getting trampled on and how not to get trampled on, you might want to come along for a listen. Monday comes back to what was left over. And it's it's grim, but hey, yum yum fun and come get you some with grim leftovers. That's at 7 p.m. Eastern on Monday night, and we're back right here again Tuesday at noon in the Central Time Zone of America in a perfect world. That's that guy over there sparking it up right now. Flash him. No, Mark. No, that's one o'clock on the East Coast. Uh, no, I said Central. Noon. Did you say central? I was, must not have been hearing that part. I only heard noon something. Okay, weirdo. Well, hey, did you have fun? Hope you. Ha, of course. All right. Why wouldn't I? Well, listen, if you can do it, be free. And where you can't, get out of the way of getting run over. Pretty much. That's right. <sighs> Skid marks are nobody's friends. <laughs> See you, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank y'all. Uh, uh, I'm closing the room.